Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a southern classic favorite which is smothered beef neck bones over rice honey. So look if you haven't already subscribed to my channel grab your ingredients and let's get started. All right guys, so here I have two pounds of beef neck bones. I soaked them in water, got all the gunk and blood off of them, honey, because that was gross. All right, you can do the same if you choose to. But I'm adding in about one to two tablespoons of beef tallow, which is basically like beef fat. If you don't have that, you can use oil. And I'm gonna season these up really well. Y'all know I'ma have a garlic powder. I don't even know why y'all tripping. Y'all know the garlic powder is there. It's one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of mustard powder. I like to add mustard powder to my, my um, neck bones. We're also going in with one to two teaspoons of seasoned salt. If you wanna use Cajun seasoning, you can. Um, I'm also gonna add in some adobo seasoning. You guys, we talked about this, okay? So I know some of you guys are familiar with it. If not, you can find it in any grocery store. Going in with one tablespoon of that, I'm using a half teaspoon of black pepper. Um, my black pepper is pretty coarse, so it can make it spicy, so I'm only using a half teaspoon. I'm going in one teaspoon of smoked paprika and one tablespoon of Worcestershire, ooh, ooh, Worcestershire sauce. Okay, boy, that one almost got me there. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and mix those up. Make sure all the meat is coated in the sauce. And let me tell you this. If you want to use this as an alternative to oxtails, you can because oxtails are expensive and neck bones are very similar to beef ones, okay? So if you would like to do that, it's just something to think about, all right? So we're over medium heat. I added in about two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, you can use avocado oil or you can use canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil you wanna use. And I'm going to sear the neck bones on both sides for about two minutes per side, okay? We're not trying to cook these through or anything. We're just giving them some color and locking in some flavor. That is it. So go ahead and sear those up and remove the meat from the pot. Set it aside and I'm gonna be cooking these in batches since I have more than um, one pack of meat, okay? So go ahead and set those to the side. If you need to add a little bit more oil, you can. Sear the rest of your um, neck bones up. I'm gonna skip through this part, you guys. But um, sear them up, make sure you get them nice and brown, and then reduce your heat to medium low. Now this is what's gonna happen. The bottom of your pot just might burn, but guess what, that's okay. It is perfectly fine, you guys. This is not a mistake, it happens in cooking and we have to learn to live with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in one cup of bell peppers, I'm using red and green diced, and I'm also gonna add in one cup of a yellow onion that has been just roughly diced, okay? Go ahead and give that a quick mix, saute it up. And here I'm adding in a tablespoon of the Better Than Bouillon beef base, all right? Get that in there, that's very critical. It's gonna add some extra flavor to our broth that we're gonna be adding in, because we are gonna be mixing it. And it's gonna give our veggies some extra flavor, all right? But before we add in any liquid, we're gonna hit it with a tablespoon of all-purpose flour because we want our liquid to turn into a gravy over time. So if you add any more, it's gonna turn too quick. We don't want that, okay? So go ahead and add that in, cook it down. And then we're adding in 32 ounces of beef broth. I'm only adding in just a little bit right here just because I wanna try to scrape some of that, um, that goodness up off the bottom. And y'all think about it like this. First of all, that's called deglazing, that's the first thing. But second thing, this is like a natural browning stage. You guys know how browning is actually made? It's made with sugar, just burning sugar in the bottom of a pot, okay? So it's gonna naturally turn my broth a little bit darker, which is exactly what I want. That's why I told you the bits are okay, okay? It's not the end of the world if you burn the bottom of your pot. That's what scrub daddy's for, all right? We scrub the bottom of it and it's over. So go ahead and pour that all in. And then I'm gonna add about six to eight cups of water. This is a seven quart pot, so it's a pretty big pot. Okay, do not overfill your pot trying to cook this. If you don't have a seven quart pot, um, you know, you may want to just add the six waters. If you do have a seven quart, uh, 
bigger part or smaller part, whatever, you know, adjust as needed. But once you get that in, go ahead and add your beef back to the pot, you guys. That's the only way this is going to cook. You got to put the meat back in there, all right? I'm adding the little juices that was in there too, because why not? And we're going to add uh, some additional flavor. I'm adding in three sprigs of fresh thyme. If you don't have the fresh thyme, you can use dried thyme. I crushed two garlic cloves and I popped those in there. I don't want actual garlic pieces in there, so I'm using the cloves. And I gave it a pinch of salt because we added water, okay? So give it a good pinch of salt. Cook it covered for two hours, 45 minutes. You may need to go longer, you may need less. But look, two hours later, this is where we are. Is it done? Yeah, but I wanted a little bit more tender. So that's why we added the extra 45 minutes, okay? However, in between time, you wanna make sure that you're checking it. You don't want the bottom to scorch or burn, so make sure nothing is sticking. I added in two cups of water because my gravy was thickening before I wanted to. And I, uh, you know, I plan on cooking it a little bit longer. So look, after those two hours and 45 minutes, honey, look, this is what we got right here. A delicious pot of Southern style neck bones. And that's all that's to it, y'all. So let's go ahead and plate it up. And there you have it, guys. Our delicious fork tender neck bones. I mean, honey, look at that. Y'all, y'all gotta see what I had to say about okay. it. Moment of truth. Let's try it out. Whew, I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, I already knew it was good, but. <laughs> Y'all, look. Look at that. Just for tender, delicious. If you've never had neck bones, it's the same tenderness and texture as a pork roast, oxtails, um, pretty much any good cut of beef. I didn't like this very special drop. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Perfectly seasoned. Mm. Not tough, just delicious. It's really not tough. Mm. Right. Right, Molly? Try it out. No, I'm not trying That's it out. That's right. I'm not trying it out. You try it out. It's so yummy. It's so yummy? As you know, mm. comment below and like it. That's right. Comment below. Try it out. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if you try out this recipe, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.